Want to invest in technology, but you don't want to pay too much for shares or sacrifice income? Would you like to make sure your portfolio has exposure to tech, but you also want market beating yield? Like the idea of being invested in companies that treat their shareholders right? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. It helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. Technology is our future. All aspects of our lives are becoming dominated by technology. Smartphones are practically an extra appendage at this point. The internet is critical to almost all forms of work, and the internet of things will soon see everything from your refrigerator to your car connected to a network. Investors have to be exposed to tech companies. But the cat is out of the bag and a lot of tech stocks have gone on huge runs over the last few years. However, there are a few tech stocks out there that remain reasonably valued and they offer market beating dividends that are growing faster than inflation. Here are three technology dividend growth stocks that can give your portfolio big growing income. The first stock I wanna to bring to your attention is Broadcom Inc, stock ticker AVGO. This is a semiconductor giant that has a lot of exposure to 5G. We did an analysis video back in early July noting how cheap this stock was at the time. The stock was around $300 a share back then. It's now coming up on $500 a share. It's obviously no longer the deal it once was. There's no doubt about it. However, it still offers a market beating yield of 3% right now. And with a tech company this high quality and growing this fast, getting a market beating dividend is no small feat. I don't know of any other tech company that offers this much quality and growth while still offering this kind of yield. The one thing the stock is lacking right now compared to when I analyzed it last summer is value. But investors looking for an entry point should be paying attention to any pullbacks in this name. The second stock I want to discuss is Cisco Systems Inc, stock ticker CSCO. This networking equipment and software company remains underappreciated. We put together a video analysis on Cisco also back in July of 2020. The stock hasn't moved up much since then, and that's why there's an opportunity here. Investors bemoan when a stock like Broadcom runs up too much and leaves them without the chance to buy, but then they'll stick their noses up at a stock that's languished and is still cheap. You can't have it both ways. The stock remains priced below my estimate of intrinsic value of $50 a share, and it offers a market beating yield of 3.1%. Cisco isn't growing as fast as some other tech companies out there, but the undemanding valuation and high yield more than offsets that. The third stock is International Business Machines Corp, stock ticker IBM. This is a legacy tech company that is just now pivoting to hybrid cloud technology, setting up a very exciting future. Our video analysis on IBM back in November showed why it might be worth upwards of $135 a share. With the stock trading hands for $120 a share, there's still some value here. Meanwhile, the stock offers a market smashing yield of 5.4%. If you want big growth potential, you have to pay up, accept lofty expectations, and sacrifice yield. IBM gives you a cheap valuation, high yield, and low expectations. These three tech dividend growth stocks all offer market beating yields. Best of all, there's something here for every kind of investor. You can pay up for Broadcom's high growth rate, or accept Cisco's middle of the road compromise, or take IBM's big dividend and low valuation in lieu of faster growth. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did, and let us know in the comments what you think about these three tech dividend growth stocks. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I've made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.